Vector and Matrix Algebra 10. Prove the following vector identities using subscript summation notation. Part A, A dot product with B cross C is A cross B dot product with C. So let's start with this one. Uh, we have vector A dot product with the cross product between B and C. Now in subscript summation notation, that means we are multiplying the i component of a vector A with the i component of vector B cross C and adding them up because we have a repeated index. And how do I represent the i component of the cross product using subscript summation notation? For, ex for example, this is epsilon k l i b k c l. So if you write epsilon k l i b k c l e i hat, that gives you the uh, cross product vector. If I, if you take its i component, you don't need the e i hat. So this is going to be just the i component of the cross product. And if I uh, regroup this so that this is a sub i, b sub k, epsilon k l i, parentheses c l. Now I note that at this point, epsilon k l i is the same thing as epsilon l i k is the same thing as epsilon i k l using cyclic permutations l i k i k l and i'm getting the same thing so i'm going to replace epsilon k l i with epsilon i k l so this so that this becomes a sub i and let's also write it up front Epsilon K L I is equal to Epsilon I K L A sub I B sub K C sub L. Now I note that this is nothing but the alt component of A cross B. So this is A I B K E L hat would give me the uh, A cross B and its alt component is Epsilon I K L A I B K. So this can be written as uh, a cross b l component multiplied with c l, which is nothing but uh, a cross b dot product with the vector c. Okay, so we have proven that indeed uh, a dot b cross c is equivalent to a cross b dot c dot product with c let's move on to part b of the problem a cross b is equal to minus b cross a so let's see uh, in part b we have vector a cross vector b, the subscript summation notation uh, corresponding to the kth component is a sub i, b sub j, epsilon i, j, k. And if I write this as a vector, it's epsilon i, j, k, e, k hat. So that's the k component. Now, I look at the cyclic permutations i, j, k. Uh, so if I write instead of epsilon i, j, k, if I switch the positions of j and i, then I would have minus epsilon j, i, k. Now you can see here, j, i, k is the negative direction. So this uh, is basically how I go in the uh, 
negative direction that is minus 1 so j i k uh, so i have to introduce a minus sign here and uh, or in other words we have one switch of indices uh, that's an odd number of switches uh, if for example if i do epsilon j k i j k i is positive because then i would have an even number of switches so one uh, switch of indices that is corresponding corresponding to an odd number of uh, switches uh, which gives us the factor minus one we have to introduce okay so with that uh, i can write that this is equivalent to uh, minus a sub i b sub j epsilon j i k e k hat and now this is minus let's write b first b sub j a sub i epsilon j i k e k hat and uh, i'm going to replace the index j with index i and therefore i with index j so let's rename it uh, so this is going to be minus b i a j epsilon i j k e k hat here i'm renaming the index i as j and j as i so which means uh, if i look at what this is this is epsilon i j k this is minus epsilon i j k b i epsilon i j k b i a j e k hat and what is this this is basically minus b cross a so we have shown that indeed a cross b is equal to minus b cross a okay so uh, in the first example we have the dot product the dot product of two vectors is a i b cross c j delta i j which means a i b cross c i component i component of b cross c is epsilon k l i b k c l and that is a i b k epsilon k l i c l epsilon k l i is equal to epsilon i k l so that's using the cyclic permutations in clockwise direction. And epsilon i k l a i b k gives me the k uh, alt component of a cross b multiplied with alt component of c. So addition over this l index because it's repeated. So this gives me a cross b dot c. So that's the uh, answer I was expecting for part a. And for part b, a cross b is minus b cross a. A cross B is A sub I, B sub J, Epsilon I, J, K, E, K hat. And uh, if you write this as Epsilon J, I, K, then you have to put a minus sign here. That's an odd number of switches of indices, index positions. That's one position shift. And uh, also using cyclic permutations, I see that I, J, K is the positive direction, but J, I, K is the negative direction. So that's minus a i b j epsilon j i k e k hat, which is minus b j a i epsilon j i k e k hat. I renamed j as i 
and i as j so that this becomes epsilon i j k minus epsilon i j k b i a j e k hat that is basically minus b cross a so a cross b is indeed equal to minus b cross a